there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're here in Gulf Shores, Alabama. Well, actually, I'm on Orange Beach, which is right next to Gulf Shores, Alabama. And today what we have for you are the don'ts of visiting Gulf Shores, Alabama, because a lot of people come down here for these beautiful white sand beaches. And yes, these beaches are pristine. They're gorgeous. You're going to want to come here and enjoy the time with your kids or with your buddies or for some fun times. But even though there's some fun things to do here, I gotta give you some of the don'ts. And actually, one of the don'ts I have for you is don't think that Gulf Shores in this area is just these gorgeous beaches. You have other things you can do around here. An hour down that way, you got Pensacola with all kinds of fun stuff to do there. You got Mobile that's more towards the north up that way. You've got small towns around here you can go and explore, like Gulf Shores and see what's there, or go to Foley. I mean, there's all these little things to see and do around town and around the area that it's not just the beach, so you can come here and spend more than a beach vacation. You can go and do things. And I'm gonna talk about some of those when we're here. And I'll talk about Mobile and Pensacola later in the video. But honestly, like, one of the biggest don'ts I have for you is don't be afraid to act like a kid again when you are here. Because if you're gonna be going to the you know, Gulf State Park, you can do the hikes that are there. There's arcades all over the place. You wanna go ride the go-karts again or the bumper boats or play some video games? They have that for you. If you want to get in the water, yes, there's kayaking, there's parasailing. Heck, you can go out and go on boats on the water as well. If you want to get up close and personal with some of the animals that are here, you can go to the Alabama Gulf Zoo and Gulf Shores, and you get up close and personal with them. I mean, it's a small zoo, but it's something fun, and, and kids enjoy it, and big kids as well. And there's all kinds of other things. You can go to the wharf, there's amusement parks, there's Ferris wheels, there's all kinds of stuff you can do when you're here. So you have your beach time, but also you have your time to go out and enjoy yourself as well, and, and the enjoying yourself isn't just being a kid it's also being a grown-up with some of the grown-up things you're gonna do when you are here as well and one of the things that grown-ups love to do is obviously eat and enjoy the great food and I'm gonna tell you right now one of those things we adults love to do is eat or at least this adult does and and my don't for that is don't explode from all the seafood you're gonna eat when you're here look Gulf shrimp is fantastic and you'll have it in hundreds of different ways here whether it's broiled boiled fried or, or in a po' boy or, or with shrimp and grits you are gonna have that oysters grilled there's so much seafood here that you're gonna have and it's fantastic I mean fantastic you want to eat seafood the entire time you're here okay so don't skip out on the seafood but don't explode from it but I gotta tell you don't expect that seafood to be cheap okay when you are here food prices uh, you're hoping they might be a little bit cheaper than they are like inland because you're on the coast well maybe but since there's so many tourists here a lot of the places where you're gonna go eat the prices are quite high so do prepare your budget for that okay and I think that's why there's a really important thing I got to tell you if you're gonna be coming to Gulf Shores don't forget to buy your supplies before you come in because you're flying into Pensacola you're flying to Mobile you will pass by targets you'll pass by Walmart you'll pass by Publix grab your snacks grab your food grab your alcoholic beverages on your way here because once you get to Gulf Shores there's a lot of little package liquor stores and little shops you can buy stuff at, but man, don't expect those little local shops to be cheap. I mean, we were looking at 20, 30% markups on the alcohol when we were here, going to the package stores versus buying it at the liquor store that's next to Walmart, because that's one thing you need to know is don't expect to be able to buy your hard alcohol um, in the same place you buy your groceries, okay? So do know that you're gonna have to make two trips, but they are smart that there'll be a Walmart here and then there'll be a liquor store next to it, okay? So so you'll have that. But something to think about when you're here because one, it'll save you the hassle, but also it'll save you a lot of money if you're buying that stuff before you come down here. Now, when you are driving down here, I think, I think one thing that kind of got me is when you drive along the waterfront, you know, where the hotels and the B&Bs and the, the rentals are, is uh, don't be surprised if there's a u-turn only lane yes because you can't always cross over to turn into stuff so you might need to go down a block or two and then do a u-turn um so just have a heads up for that because we were driving like oh there was the arcade we wanted to go to uh where, where do we turn around oh there's a u-turn lane up there so so as a driver just something to look out for otherwise the driving here isn't really bad at all except when it's summer high time and spring high time because then it does get a little annoying and I think that's an important thing to tell you if you're gonna come here at spring break or you're gonna come here during the summer don't forget to book your accommodation early because this is the most popular place for people from Alabama and around this region because this is one of the most popular places for people from Alabama to come to for their family spring break for their summer vacation so the places fill up quickly and so if you're doing last minute you might be paying you know some pretty high prices for your accommodation 
And when you are booking that accommodation early, you're gonna be probably booking your flights as well. And I need to tell you, don't expect to fly directly into Gulf Shores. You're gonna to need to fly into Pensacola or Mobile. Those are the bigger airports that are nearby. Both of them are about an hour away, so it's not a big deal. I will tell you this, if you can't get a rental car at the airport, which does happen sometimes, don't forget to look at the rental agencies that are nearby. We actually took a cab to another enterprise rental place by Pensacola, and instead of waiting a two hour line to get our car, we got our car in five minutes. So something to think about when you're coming here, yeah, pay the taxi to take you that enterprise in town or the Hertz in town. It, it can save you a lot of time and save you a lot of money. And they probably have a car where the airport ones sometimes don't. Also, so don't, don't chuckle when you're flying and you're buying your tickets for the Pensacola airport because their three little symbol is PNS and the, the, the 12 year old me is just laughing at that one like hee hee hee. So, so there's something there. Um, another thing I think that you want to notice if you fly to Pensacola or actually when you're down here you'll notice a lot of alien and UFO themed things it's because Pensacola is actually you know one of those UFO hot spots yeah it's also where the Blue Angels practice and fly out of so hmm, maybe there's something to do with that remember folks it's never aliens unless it is aliens but we're not the travel channel so we're not going to go into aliens okay but you'll notice there's a, a ton of ufo th uh, themed things here so don't be surprised when you fly into uh, pensacola and it says pensacola intergalactic airport so one of those little cute things you'll notice when you're in the area now a local you might see when you're around here is actually out in the water oh there's one right there oh wow is um, actually, don't be surprised if you see Flipper when you're um, here because there's actually dolphins that'll swim along the coast and you can actually see them sometimes, which is kind of nice. You'll see people that'll come down and watch for them at certain times of the day. So that's kind of a fun thing to see when you're here. Now, one of the attractions, I guess you'd call it, that you need to come and visit when you are here in Gulf Shores is Floribama. And Floribama is a combination of restaurants and bars and events and concerts and all kinds of stuff and, and beautiful beach. They you can go and stay at and have a good time. They have live music every day. I mean, it's been in country music songs. It's actually a really popular thing. And my friends that live here, they're like, yeah, a lot of tourists go there, but you should go there because it's a lot of fun when you're here. I'm like, all right. So definitely check that out when you are here. And it's called Floribama because it's right on the Florida, Alabama line, like right there. So kind of a nice uh, little thing to do. And if you haven't gotten a chance to go in the other state, you just can cross right over right there. No big deal. Now, since you're coming to Gulf Shores, I mean, you're thinking, oh, we're going to be on the shore. We're going to go to the beach. I do have a few don'ts for the beach when you are here. One don't is don't bring glass. It's not allowed on the beaches here. Also, you'll see how pristine and clean these beaches are. You're not going to want to put glass out there anyway it is really they do a really great job of keeping them clean versus other places i've gone to where the beaches are like oh watch out for the cigarette butts watch out for the broken glass here no it's really nice that way so make sure you don't litter you don't you know bring any glass down here also you're not supposed to bring your pets down here as well so it's a little bit of a cleaner beach when you come and it's really a great experience but the usual tourist don'ts when it comes to beach towns is don't forget the sunblock and sun protection and not just when you go to the beach because i we were out doing mini golf you know doing the kids stuff doing the mini golf and the people that were there with us were just fried because there's nothing protecting you so they're just burned to a crisp I'm like wow dude you need some you need some lotion okay so don't forget the sun cream don't forget the sunblock don't forget the hat also don't forget to bring some aloe if you got little ones because sometimes you don't get all the sunblock on them or maybe for the big ones as well because that will help with the sunburn because in the summertime i'm going to tell you don't be surprised if you were like like hurting here in the summer with the heat and the humidity it can be a bit unbearable sometimes so be ready for that so make sure you're staying hydrated you know hop in the water yeah if it's a little cool it'll help you cool off or my best way to cool off in the heat in the summer is don't forget to go get a snow cone when you are here a nice little thing from the area that you'll enjoy but I'll be honest, we're actually staying right at a hotel right there. Like I'm looking at my buddy on the deck right now. And one of the best parts of staying here at Gulf Shore, especially if you stay on the water, is just don't skip out on the sunsets. The sunsets here are just gorgeous. And pretty much anywhere you're staying along the beach, you can just walk out and see the sunset over the horizon over that way. It is just gorgeous to see. And you just kind of like take it in and it's wonderful. So make sure at least one of the nights you come to the beach to watch the sunset because it's really worthwhile. I mean, it's beautiful even when you're in town, but on the beach, it's just, it's next level when you are here, okay? And, and I know I told you you're gonna fly either into Pensacola or Mobile. I wanna give you a few things 
things to uh, about each of those places. Uh, like, don't forget Pensacola is literally an hour down the road. You can go to uh, when you are there. Remember, the Blue Angels, they practice here. They actually have a weekly training you can watch. Yeah, that's pretty cool. The Naval Aviation Museum is there too. You can see that. That is gorgeous. There's some really great places to eat. McGuire's you can go to. Peg Lake Pete's always fun and, and, and fun for your tummy as well. But there's a lot of really cool things to do there. You got the Seville uh, Historic District where they've redone all these homes that have been, you know, brought back to their beauty from the 1800s and 1900s. Well, 1900s, 18th and 19th centuries. Like, oh my God, I'm getting so old. Like, we're talking about the last century. <laughs> But it is really a nice place to check out if you're going to go to Mobile. I mean, Mobile, for those who don't know, Mobile is the true birthplace of Mardi Gras in the U.S. So they're there throwing out the, the, the moon pies and everything. But there's actually a Mobile Mardi Gras museum you can go to and see some of the floats and learn about the history of Mardi Gras and Mobile. You can also check out the USS Alabama that's there. It's a battleship you can go see. It's in this park that's there. And there's also um, a submarine you can go and check out when you're there as well. The Mobile Museum of Art is there. I mean, there's a lot of historic stuff there. There's some forts you can check out so you do have a nice like base here in Gulf Shores to explore the region that's why I got to say is don't think it's just a weekend at the beach when you come here because you can use the beach as your base and then have a day in Pensacola a day in Mobile a day exploring around here a day or two at the beach right and then we got a day of kid fun there's six days and you're flying out you got a week easy of things to do when you're here so have a great time and happy travels